welcome to another GCSE computer science video with me Mr Goff for mrgoff.com. This video will focus on encryption, IP and MAC addresses and the need for standards. Encryption is the process of converting plain text to cipher text that is encoded so it can't be understood using an algorithm. If files are encrypted then if they are intercepted during transmission they are unreadable to the person that intercepts them. When files reach their destination, they can be decrypted again so that they can be used as expected. Encryption is essential to the security of Wi-Fi networks where data is transmitted via radio waves through the air and could otherwise be picked up and intercepted by anyone. Devices connected to a network get an IP address by which they are identified. The switch in a wired network or wireless router in a wireless network has a record of which node is at which IP address. An IPv4 address consists of four numbers between 0 and 255, each separated by a dot. As we know from the data representation unit, to make a number between 0 and 255 uses eight bits in binary. So in reality, what we actually have is a 32-bit number used as our IPv4 address. This gives us 2 to the 32, or over 4 billion possible addresses to use. While IPv4 provides sufficient addresses for internal networking, on the internet, where every device needs its own unique IP address, the Internet of Things has meant that we were running out of IPv4 addresses. IPv6 was developed and it uses eight sets of four hex digits. As we know from the data representation unit, one hex digit is actually the equivalent of four binary digits. So instead of having 32 binary digits, we now have 128. Two to the power of 128 gives us this many addresses. I'm not going to try to say that number, but you can see how large it is. This should keep us going for quite some time before we have any need to update the standard again. A static IP address means that a device always has the same IP address when it logs onto a network. This is common on wired networks where devices are always in the same location. A dynamic IP address means that your IP address is a temporary IP and it is reset each time you log on where it's selected from a pool of currently available IP addresses and when you log off, your IP address is returned to the pool so that someone else can use it. A MAC address is made up of six groups of two hex digits. For example, 13A6ED6208B3 could be a MAC address. It is a unique serial code hard-coded into network interface cards when the device is manufactured. Even when a device logs on with a dynamic IP address, it can be uniquely identified by the network because of its MAC address. The principle of a standard is to provide rules for areas of computing. For example, standards for character encoding, such as ASCII, allow two machines to be able to transfer written data and understand what the other means. There are also things like standards for connection types for hardware in a computer, so that a device sold by one manufacturer and a device sold by another will both be able to connect in the same way. Standards allow hardware and software to interact across different manufacturers and producers effectively and efficiently. That brings us to the end of this video on encryption, IP and MAC addresses and the need for standards. Join me in the next video when I'll be taking a look at protocols. Use the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise computer science. And until next time, it's bye for now.